back everyone today we are going to be talking about fields how we can use them what are they now we can use them with rigid body dynamics as well so first thing i'm going to do is just increase the timeline to something like a 500 just so we have much better frame range for playback let's go to fx menu and i'm going to create my first passive collider and let's scale this up and bring this up let's make this one and one and let's create some objects like control d control d control d and uh, let's create some spheres as well and i think this should be good to go all right so we have some objects here that we can play around with and uh, let me just change this okay so we have something like this so i'm going to select all of these deselect your plane and i'm going to go to fields and solver and create active rigid body i'm going to select my plane and create a passive rigid body okay so we have a collider and we have an active rigid body as well so if i play nothing happened because we don't have any gravity to make the object fall so the first field that we are going to talk about is obviously the air uh, but uh, if you want to make the object follow you are, you have to go with gravity apart from that uh, as i've discussed earlier in the earlier videos if you are creating something like an end cloth by default you get something called as a nucleus as you can see right here so this nucleus basically represents the overall brain of your whole dynamic simulation so this has an inbuilt gravity that's why it can make the object fall and so on but yeah so in the rigid body dynamics on the other hand we have to manually create our dynamics or our fields so that's what we are going to be taking a look so i'm going to select all of these and go to fields and solver and select air now air is basically means a simple air so if i play this now as you can see everything goes up so if i go to my attribute editor here you can see magnitude and this is basically the strength of your overall air if i make this something like a 10 this will go much faster and i'll do the same i'll keep increasing this so you can see the difference i'm going to keep this to five just for now and then you have the attenuation which basically means the farther the object goes the slower the effect of this air gets so if it keeps going and going and going slowly the effects will kind of uh, fade as it goes in deeper space and uh, from here you can see uh, the reason the objects are going on the y direction is the reason because the value has been set to one on the y direction you can keep it to x and make this zero so this is basically x y and z so i can make this one on the x axis and now as you can see everything goes in the x direction you can do the same with the overall z direction as well if you want to make that and if you want the same effect with the negative direction all you have to do is put a minus a negative value and that will just make everything go backwards there you go so i'm gonna make this one and then you have the speed how much speed you want this and then you have inherit velocity which basically means uh, velocity basically means the movement or you can say speed of an object of a moving object so inherit velocity means keeping the object in a certain direction where it's moving so right now for us it's moving in the y direction so if you want to keep it on the y we have to increase this value so that's what it means all right so the next value that we uh, next field sorry that we have is the drag and drag basically means slowing everything down now if i take my drag and if i hit play nothing will happen and the reason is because drag doesn't have anything to slow anything down because nothing is moving so we have to take another thing another field with this i'm going to take another air let's bring this out and from here if i play this now as you can see the air is pushing the overall objects on the up direction on the y axis so from here what i can do is basically select my drag here and right now as you can see the magnitude value has been set to 0 0.50 which is too less and right now this has the effect a pretty fast pacing movement and if i make this something like a 0.200 this will just slow everything down you can see the difference but not as much but if i make something like a one you can see much drastic measure or you can say difference i'm gonna make this five just so all right so there you go right so now you can see the overall spinning rotation and everything if i make this something like a 50 you'll see much slower result and because of the drag kind of slowing it down and air pushing more towards it you'll notice that the object starts to spin because of the overall magnitude how much strength we have on the air 
if I make this something like a one and the drag is kind of pushing everything down so that's why you get this kind of friction kind of movement all right so next thing that we have is basically a gravity which makes everything fall everybody know what gravity is we have tackled gravity in our end cloth videos as well so i think everybody is pretty familiar with gravity uh, let's move on to the next field i'm gonna take a newton now all right so newton is basically a kind of attractor so wherever the newton is going to be all the objects are going to be attracted towards that so i'm going to keep the newton right about there and i'm going to hit play so now you can see the objects are kind of pulling towards the newton but if i make the newton to somewhere right about there and if i hit play you'll notice that the object starts moving towards the newton and some are passing the newton and the reason obviously because it has some kind of inertia it has some kind of motion and it's really hard to keep that motion instantly switch off so i'm going to increase the value to something like a 20 here and you can see much greater speed and the objects are trying to be getting inside of the newton field trying to be around that field and you can see how this is affecting the overall geometry so this is how you can use newton and in simple words if you want to understand newton this is basically a simple attractor that will attract your objects or your rigid body dynamics so let's move on to the next field i'm gonna deselect this and then we have a radial now radial basically pushes everything apart now in this case all the objects that are here right now will be pushed apart so i'm gonna play this now as you can see everything is just pushing apart so you can do another thing with this if you want a negative effect where you want it to be a newton kind of effect where everything should be attracted towards it what you can do is put a negative value here and if i hit play you can see you get like this effect so you can use it as a newton effect too but if you want to push push apart effect you can and if you want the effect to be faded away much faster as it goes on the deeper space you can increase the attenuation all right so i'm going to delete this let's move on and the next thing that we have is turbulence and turbulence i think is one of my favorite fields probably a turbulence and vortex and turbulence is basically some noise that you get um like for example if you're creating a wind and you have that air density like for example if i create a simple sphere here and if i create an end cloth and go to its nucleus you'll notice that we have a wind noise that means you have a simple wind which is kind of pushing it and then you have the wind noise which basically means adding more turbulence towards the wind and you get much drastic wind effect when you're creating this and we have tackled the wind noise in i think creating a flag video so you can understand more about that there but yes so basically turbulence is adding some noise so if i play this now you can see some noisy patterns going on this will just add some randomization to your rigid body so that's why i love this i always use this whenever i'm creating just to create some randomization so whenever i'm whenever i'm creating anything related to rigid body most of the time 90 percent of the time i always use turbulence it just gives you some extra randomization and you, if the effect is too drastic you can pretty much reduce the value to get a minimal look and the next thing that we have is uniform and uniform is just uh, another air but uniform always sticks with one direction if you have a value of x it will just it acts like a wind towards that axis so that means it will push everything on that direction if i play this now as you can see it's pushing towards that direction if i make this one it will push on the y so the main thing is what is the difference between uniform and air so in air air is just not a simple air you get much more than just a simple air uh, and the reason is because if you go to predefined setting here you'll notice that you get three parameters and the first is wind wake and a fan so if you want it to act like a wind it will act like a wind if you want it to act like a wake it will act like a wake if you want it to be a fan it will act like a fan so that's how you can utilize a simple you can say wind or our air field so if i increase the magnitude value to something like a 20 and you can create a something like a fan here and i don't think this will, this is not exactly working as it's supposed to be because the wind direction has been set to on the y-axis but if i make this something like a z 
you should get something and uh, we are not getting exactly how it's supposed to be but if i create something like a propeller here like an airplane propeller let me just rotate this to 90 degrees and i'm going to scale this and let's uh, reduce the overall segments here i'm going to make this two and two so i'm going to select one vertice here make this something like this and i'm going to increase this okay so i'm going to select this i'm going to push this back i'm going to select this i'm going to push this towards the front and let's make this a hard edge okay so i'm going to delete my air i'm going to select this and i'm going to make this uh, active rigid body first and then i'm going to add a uh, air field okay i'm going to bring this up and let's create a fan i'm going to make the value of 10 and now you can see you have something like this now obviously the propeller is kind of flowing away in the deep space because we don't have anything to hold it down but in the later videos we will see how we can use constraints in rigid body dynamics as well to create those constraints like we saw in the end constraint video how we can use this to create dynamic cloths so we'll see how we can make a propeller and so on but yeah you get the idea how uh, the fan of wind works okay so i'm gonna delete this let's move on i'm gonna select this so i'm gonna select this and uh, let's take vortex and vortex is basically a tornado effect that you see in a ocean so here you can see everything moves and i'm gonna make this on the default uh, location which is in the middle so you can see the effect better so wherever your fields are it's going to be affected towards that so if i make my vortex around here you'll get much more wider vortex region so you can see this is the center point and now the whole object starts to move so this is how you can use vortex and vortex is also one of my favorite fields it creates just amazing look and you can pretty much the way you use a field is not only with rigid boy dynamics but with also n particles and also your fluids as well if you have a 3d container and you have some fields going on you can create uh, just for the example i'll show you a demo so i'm going to delete everything and uh, gonna make this right about there okay so i'm just gonna show you a quick demo how you can use this with the other thing this is not a fluid video which is going to be in future videos but this is just for the demonstration purpose so i'm gonna create a simple and basic simulation just so we have something to pretty much work with and um, So if I play this now, as you can see, we have something like this. We have a smoke inside of our container. And uh, let me just quickly make this. So we have a smoke coming out of our container. What I can do here is I can select my 3D container. I go to vortex. And from here, if I play this now, you can see the vortex coming out. Obviously, the value is too low. I'm going to make this something like a 50. And now from here, you can see the vortex right about there. So you can see how Vortex can overall give you the ability to create this dynamic fluid simulation as well. So let me just make this to And I think uh, now it should be easier to see. But yeah. So this is how you can create this kind of effect. And let's say if I don't have like anything related to turbulence or anything in this 3D container or in this fluid. For example, if I don't use any turbulence and if I don't use any swirl velocity or whatever, I have a simple basic simulation which doesn't look as good as should be so what i can do is select my 3d container and create a turbulence and in the turbulence let's see the default value which is 5 you don't get much but if i make this something like a 10 or 20 you shouldn't get this kind of look so now you have much more better looking simulation with this i'm going to make so this is how you can use fields and in the future video we'll see how we can create uh, fluids and n particles and so on but 
for now let's stick with the razor boy dynamics and so play around with the fields you can create pretty amazing stuff with fields and everything so play around with this create some random i guess cubes and you can use a simple field to create a simple motion graphics as well so i'm going to take a simple air and in the air you can use it to i think we have a more yeah we have turbulence and vortex field as well so i'm going to select this add air all right there you go and you can create pretty amazing stuff with this so have fun with this and if you have any question or doubt feel free to ask me you can get in touch with me on my instagram all my social media are linked in the description you can also get into the comment section and ask me if you have any trouble dealing with the fields and everything all right so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video